Yes, we've all heard that the AI in GTA 6 will be like nothing we've ever seen in a video game, backed by upwards of $2 billion, making the sixth instalment of Grand Theft Auto the most expensive video game budget of all time. But today, let's explore the potential of what these advanced confirmed AI systems could mean for players at both the release date and what modders of the game will surely crack the game into at some point. Now, Rockstar's parent company Take Two lodged a patent trademark in April 2019, entitled System and Method for Virtual Navigation in a Gaming Environment. The patent has yet to be used as far as we're aware, and it's extremely likely it'll be used in the game we know to be in development right now, GTA 6. Now, what all these diagrams represent and what the patent was trademarking boils down to NPCs following a routine, and not just a set path, but timed paths and actual destinations. Meaning some NPCs might have a 9 to 5 at their corporate America office job, another NPC might be a surfer taking advantage of the newly confirmed water sports physics, a suburban couple might go to the shopping mall together and the game is expected to be keeping track of this, whether the NPC is on or off screen, playable character being nearby or not. And I don't think we are yet able to fully comprehend the possibilities this could open up for players. Sure, it's cool knowing that you're going about town amongst NPCs not just randomly driving around but actually living their life, but let's think about the side quests and extracurricular activities this could enable us to take part in. Whether or not Rockstar opens up this NPC system to its full potential, we've already seen what modders are capable of in GTA V with Los Santos Police Department First Response or the LSPDFR mod. A mod enabling players to roleplay as a police officer, including realistic police technology to reprimand and arrest the citizens of Los Santos, including features and add-ons that weren't even close to being possible in the base game. And on top of that, there's the GTA role-playing servers also. So let's think what a mod like this could do with the NPC system Take-Two has trademarked. The idea that gets me the most excited is role-playing as a private investigator. Just think, if you're a detective in-game, NPCs or hell, even real players could recruit you to investigate someone on their behalf. Cheating spouse, missing persons, you could track down clues, stake out someone's house or apartment, follow them to and from work, really anything. Rockstar's L.A. Noir had the aesthetic and the time period for a private investigator thriller but was too early for this type of NPC technology. But considering we know GTA 6 is set in the modern day, a neo-noir investigative profession is a perfect side activity to the main game. Here's an idea, make a Vice City Stories type spin-off with the same engine as GTA 6 for missions like these. Private investigator missions aside, there are less professional, creepier possibilities for players such as stalking NPCs, stalking celebrity NPCs even. You could follow Laszlo from his house in the hills to his radio station and back again, why not? Well, it's problematic social behaviour, but you see my point. Watch Dogs Legion attempted fleshing out their NPCs with hobbies and jobs, but you could tell after a while the developers were probably in over their head as the NPC data seemed to randomly cycle amongst the city's citizens, not really having any true relevance to the character or their role in the game. To be fair, they probably didn't have $2 billion either. I suppose Red Dead Redemption 2 was the closest we have to what we're talking about. I don't think anyone would argue that the Wild West world of Red Dead feels more lived in than anything we've ever seen in open world video games. If that's what they did with NPCs back in 2018, imagine what they can accomplish with five more years and counting in their holster. But what possibilities can you think of with a sandbox filled with NPCs living their own lives? Do you think Rockstar will take full advantage of the technology they are developing, or will that be up to its players? Let me know, I'll be down there in the comments. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe for weekly videos covering the best and worst of entertainment. If you subscribed during this video, then welcome aboard, and if you had a good time hanging out, then spank that like button. This is Matt Rogers, and that is all.